Hello and welcome to another episode of TRB Collectibles. My name's Tom and I will be your guide through this estate sale. We have a whole bunch of retail. Dude, this is sweet. The first thing retail. we noticed the moment we walked in this house was the yeah. large amount of retail items that was just everywhere. They were definitely we retail. had a feeling that it was the previous homeowners rather than the estate sale company. But as we go through this house, you'll see exactly what we're talking about. Model railroading is always mm. something that you should look up. I'm not saying on every video. piece will be valuable, but it just depends on what people are looking for at that yeah. specific time on eBay or okay. wherever you sell. They say eBay saved the model railroading community because it gave people a search for what they were looking for that their local hobby store did not yeah. have. What's there the are discount? many different types of brands. Thank you. Primarily what people are looking for are solid cars that you can pull along in engines and prefer metal wheels and metal bodies. Yeah. Tyco, being a more affordable brand, is primarily made of plastic, yeah. which, for the most part, doesn't necessarily carry a value, but in model railroading, it's a great way to start. Also, check the condition of the box. It's in nice condition. Does it take batteries or is it plug in? Batteries. And the battery compartment is good, no rust. Yeah, you could. Yeah, well, five dollars. So, how much did you could sell it for? Uh, this was listed at sixty-five on May twelfth. Sixty-five. But remember, look real quick. It says brand new. I don't know if this is brand new. So I would say you could probably get thirty to forty dollars for it. Not brand new. Remember, you gotta filter it by used because you don't know if it's new. Because somebody will open it and be like, why is it dirty? And so, it was dirty. so, 30? Yeah, it's a 30. You can also probably sell it locally. As I continued my adventure through the garage looking for more model railroading, I noticed all of this Bachman and Tyco branding. This is a lot of entry level into the model railroading community, so if you're just getting started and want to dip your feet in the water, these are good brands to go with. Primarily they're made of plastic and not too much metal, but in the reselling community, that means there's not as much value that is there. I'm not saying there's no value at all. You always want to look up specific rolling stock or engines themselves to see if they do carry a value. You just have to get it at the right price. Now I did find a quality locomotive, it's the one I'm picking up right now. At the estate sale they wanted $85, and this was a hefty price, but they knew exactly how much they could get for it, and with 30% off, even in the resale market, that's still a bit much. The reason being, it's a quality engine, it will run beautifully, and it will display perfectly. The problem is, is the shipping cost. It is mostly die-cast metal. The quality is there, and you will have to factor that into your cost and sell point. So, even with that 30% off, the estate sale company knows how much they can get for that locomotive and are just waiting for the right buyer. Uh, one thing I want to mention to you is um, railroad stuff does well. Yeah. Wait, thank you. It's VHS. Uh, take five Bible memories, Bork. Let's talk about printering, shall we? Is it a good thing to buy or resell? Of course it is. Is it expensive in the stores? Oh, yes. Can you find it for a decent price at yard sales, estate sales, and thrift stores? Yes, you can. The only thing I'm going to ask you to do is check the expiration date. Yes, printer ink has an expiration date if you did not know. And according to eBay's rules, you cannot sell anything that is expired. 
Have people sold printer ink that's expired on eBay before? Of course they have. Is it something I would recommend? Well, that's your decision. The only thing I'm gonna forewarn you of is this. If people buy your expired printer ink, put it in their printer, and try to print something, it has a very strong potential that that ink has dried out in the cartridge. Oh, oh, so when they try to print something, it does not print correctly, and it winds up in a return. We were just it's on your decision on if you sell expired printer ink. Huh. You know, this, this is all the corrupted stuff. What's in the wire box? Mouses. Hey, Chris. What? You know what you just did? What? Things like this, sometimes they don't know what they put in these boxes. Mm -hmm. And you can walk away with some pretty Hey, holy hat bit, man. What the look at this man? These USA jackets. Also, the eagle is kind of weird. Did you happen to catch the hat in the last room? <laughs> uh, okay, it was more than just one hat. We learned that this person self-produced all the hats, t-shirts, and jackets that they sold themselves, so much so that there was so much overflow that at this estate sale, this company decided to dedicate a whole room to it. And no, Chris and I did not buy all the hats. What the heck is this? This is where you ice skate at Rockefeller Center. <laughs> this is where Hawkeye has his battles. <laughs> this is in the San Diego estate sales, I show you a beautiful pool and a magnificent view. In this case, the magnificent view is all of the t-shirts and hats and jackets and the overflow that they couldn't fit in that room that they had to put all around the pool. There's another presser. Yeah, on the 
looks like. I don't know what you're gonna do. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to click that like button. And if you have some spare time, check out some of these other videos. Thanks!